Jack Baker with the NEIFC North American Ice Fishing Circuit. We're on Mille Lacs Lake with Midwest Outdoors for the 2016 National Championship. We've got teams from New York all the way to Montana and we're ready to go on day one. I'm Mike Verdea with McCoy Zinn and Event Center. We're the host sponsor for the NAIFC's championship on Lake Mille Lacs here this year for 2016. We're out here watching the guys get after it today. They're catching a lot of really nice fish right now. We're seeing some big bluegills and we kind of expected that. Uh, Walk-on's been putting out some nice fish all year. And in general, the fishing was great. You know, walleyes were coming up all year. A lot of anglers were catching, you know, 30, 40 walleyes a day. So it's been an exciting season here on Mille Lacs and we're looking forward to seeing the rest of the tournament. Our tournament anglers qualified for the championship by placing in the top 10 at our qualifying tournaments. We run those January, February, and March across the ice belt. Our first one for 2017 was in Botno, North Dakota on Lake Menegoshi, one of the premier bluegill sites in the nation right now. Myron Gilbert and Dave Ellis out of Michigan won the tournament with 15 pounds, four ounces of bluegills, that's a 16 fish bag, tremendous. Uh, Jeff Paulson took big fish for St. Croix with a one pound, five ounce bluegill. Our second qualifier was on Lake Hebgen, West Yellowstone, Montana. Mike Howe, Jason Mondell brought six rainbow trout to the scale with 14 pounds, seven ounces. If you've never chased rainbows under the ice, this is a bucket list kind of event. West Yellowstone is full of hospitality. They increased the purse to $10,000 to win. It was a fantastic, one of our biggest tournaments of the year. Our Minnesota stop was in Chisago. Brandon Newby, Ryan Wilson put eight crappies, eight gills for nine pounds, three ounces. In Wisconsin, we stopped at Madison on Lake Mendota. We're part of the celebration of lakes through Clear Lake Alliance. They're trying to reduce the phosphorus in the Madison chain by 50%. Mark Chatton and Doug Jones won that tournament with the mixed bag of crappies and gills, weighing nine pounds, eight ounces. Kevin Fosbin, Nick Smyers brought a crappie in for the St. Croix Big Fish at one pound, five ounces. Day one's coming to a close. Fishermen will be coming in soon. We're gonna transfer their fish from their buckets to our buckets so we don't have any water, and we're gonna to head to the weigh-in, find out who the leaders are gonna be. Here we are at the North American Ice Fishing Circuit Championship at Mille Lacs Lake, Minnesota. We have fishermen here from Maine to Montana sharing their information and becoming better ice anglers. For more information, go to the NAIFC.com. And until you came here, you'd never caught a, a panfish before, have you? Nope, we don't have panfish back at home. So they, are, they got here by fishing the Montana Trout fit, uh, Tournament and, and had to come to see what was going on, though. Yeah, you got to sit in the chair for So did you have a good day today? Yeah, we had a good day. For us. For us? You got your 16? We got our 16, uh, all bluegill, and uh, some pretty nice ones. You know, what made you uh, decide to go after the perch? Well, we didn't know what we were doing, so we just went out there and got them. They were pretty good. We sorted through a lot of fish today. Um, Berg actually caught our two best crappies. He caught them back to back maybe 
three or four minutes apart, I think that they were swimming together. It must have been a pack. Nice crappie, nice quality fish. Sitting in the comfy chairs for a bit there. There were such good bluegills around, I just didn't want to take a chance of getting turned down by a bluegill, so I fished bait all day today. Pretty amazing the quality of fisher in that little bay, isn't it? Oh, absolutely, just giant bluegills. Good job, guys, nice quality fish. Total of 12.18. <laughs> Day one's wader in. Kevin Fosbin, Nick Smyers is leading at 12.18 pounds. We'll be right back with Midwest Outdoors.